Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do with this channel is share tree climbing uh, techniques with beginners and experts. Um, today what I have planned is to work with this akimbo. It's a mechanical friction hitch. So just how it operates and some of the cool features about it and, and use it a little bit up in the tree. All right, let's get to it. So here we have it, the akimbo. You can see it's a real small piece of equipment. Um, compared to some of the other ones but uh, yeah I'll I'll go over some of the details on it I put my glasses on here so from the start I mean they tell you a lot about it expertly use only which is important this is a connecting point uh, that goes to your chest and um, it's one that'll unclip on you so I, I guess in the past somebody or when they had it fixed there was a situation where it made the akimbo run so they changed it for safety um, you, you can see that they have all the arrows showing you which way it should go and then you flip it around it's for one person use from 11.5 millimeter up to 13 millimeter ropes um, 130 kilograms I think that's something like 280 pounds is max use on this um, then they have the adjustment parts. So I'll show you what you do is when you open it. When I first got it, I was like, I opened it wide. And I'm like, man, I'm fighting with it. But all you have to do is open it wide and then you twist your, your thumb and it pops completely open. Really pretty nice. Now the adjustments here, they're this little arm. So you move this arm and it flops and then you can turn the bullard. So right now I already have it set to what um, I'm gonna use. It's the adrenaline. So, um, here I, I believe I have it on F and then the bottom I have on I might let it fall five I believe so I'll let it drop see how it drops and then I'll put it back that's five okay now you'll put your rope on it well why don't we go over to the rope and do it so here we go so um, I usually start on this side here and I'll throw the rope this way Right over um, underneath the bollard, let me see. This is the the drenner has got a little bit thicker diameter. Then bring this one over, pop it in. Once you get it set, now you grab it, and there you go. Now this this eye, it's a pretty big eye, so your carabiner can roll on it. And one of their their warnings is that you should have a carabiner that has a catch. Um, I don't have the catch right now, but um, I think I plan on getting one. Anyhow, it's pretty nice. You see, it's the same. It puts a bend in the line. When you put your weight on it, you can see how it bends the line. And then the way it works is you grab this, and then you, depending on how much friction you want, you push it down. Anyhow, there you go. Another thing I wanted to show you is over here, I was looking at this chart, and it was something that I didn't know. Um, on the chart it shows you some of the ropes that are best to use with this and and the weight rating so 100 kilograms equals 220 pounds now these are some of the ropes that you can use for that and they'll have the different diameters the one that i first tried it with was a poison ivy silver ivy and it has 11.7 it was running great for a little bit i'm heavier than 220 um, it started kind of creeping on me and running so now what i've done is the adrenaline which is surprising to me because on some other um, equipment the adrenaline runs on me but um, truffle burger adrenaline at 11.8 millimeters and you got it at, it's at 130 kilograms but it brings you up to 280 pounds now I use it with adrenaline and it's working for me which is really cool um, you got to consider too with this kind of situation um, if you're working and you're using this equipment you got to think about your weight and some of the different ropes that you might need. Important to know about this. It's something I didn't know. Anyhow, I thought I'd just let you guys know. Um, next thing we're going to do is get uh, into the tree. Now that I have the akimbo put on the rope, I'm going to go up into the tree and see how it works. Um, see how the, des the, de the ascent is and the descent. All right, here I go. So I put my chest piece of this clip here. Get close to the tree. Throw the adrenaline into the pantin, and then I'll proceed up. Hey, 
it's running pretty smooth up for you. Oops, I'm gonna put my panting on. Oops, you see how that popped? <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to try to get used to that. So it's kind of good and bad. I mean, <laughs> if when I was getting ready to stop and it pops off, it's kind of cool. But if I'm working and I'm not really planning on stopping and it pops off, I'm sure that could be frustrating. So I'm going to walk around a little, see how this goes. All right. All right let me see. I'm gonna drop down this side and feel how the descent works. Now it's kind of tight. I've gone through a little bit of trying to adjust this. <laughs> so if you're seeing the pristine adjustment for right now <laughs> until I get used to it. Oops. Just like the rope runner, I gotta get used to that. When I'm coming off of a descent and I land, if I'm put a lot of pressure and then I hit, it'll pop. So I gotta just get used to that. Walk out. Hmm. The way it operates, it's basically just just like a friction hitch. It is pretty nice right now when you're using it to hold this line and pull straight up that's pretty nice all right I'm gonna go to the other side walk down on another branch so I'm not the best at the descent yet but it's actually feeling pretty feeling pretty nice So, so far what's really pretty good about this is that as I'm using it, I don't feel like any creeping or that I'm going to fall. That's a, that's a good point. Anyhow, I'll go back down. Maybe. <laughs> And I'll descend down to the ground. So it's kind of a fine tune still where I'm kind of used to it, but really kind of jerky still. There it goes. Cool. All right, Noah. What we're going to see is with my settings, what happens. <laughs> yeah, you can put it all the way. <laughs> okay. So why don't you... Um, See if you can open it up and and adjust it. Let okay, me get so to we'll do that with a rope in. Yeah, I think you can. So what side you can let me go to the other side. Hang on. Open that. Okay. You can see the twist, right? Yeah. And you're gonna flip it to the other side so you can see the settings. There you go. Let me see. There. Alright, let me get a close up there. I just undo this. Yeah. Then... Which way are you gonna turn it? Oh, you need to get less friction, right? Yeah, go to less friction. Oh, so it's, it's two old dots in there. And what is it going to be on when you finish it? Uh, do I go after the first dot or the second dot? Um, I think it's in between. Oh, okay. I'll try E. You're going to try E on the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to put the bar. Now, what you're going to do at the bottom? And, uh, Okay. 
Okay. So you got an E4. Hmm. Can I close it up? Yep. Let me just zoom out a little. Cool. Theoretically, it should be more open. Yeah, I would think. Let me let me walk around so I can get a shot of the other side. I think it's more open. There you go. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> why why don't you like just do an unreal press and then take a few steps oh, up yeah, after? Yeah. All right, cool. Hey, okay, go a few steps up. All right, maybe one hand. Can you do so I can see it? Other side. Oh, let me go to the other side now. There we go. All right, now let's see the action. What happens? It's still a bit tight. Really tight? So you're going to try to adjust it again? It's more better. We'll see what happens. See if you can go even a little looser. Yeah. So. Again? Yeah, go ahead. I'll just like one more down. Mm hmm So it's at E right now. Gotta push it down. Okay. Okay. Now you can twist. One more down. And pop it up. Yeah. That's really nice that you don't have any tools or anything. You just yeah. and nothing pops off. I mean, it it it, it actually you just push it down and then. Oh. Yeah, it's all in. Yeah. I wonder if you left it on your belt if you could still do it. Oh. Yeah. I'll put your hook in. There you go. Okay, so what's the setting now? So we got E and I think D3. D3? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna walk back to this side here. So it's holding. <laughs> All right, no, no running. Confident. <laughs> oh dear. It's a little more difficult since this thing pops out. Yeah, I can see. I can get that point about it. Stepping. Cool. Yeah, right there, it just pops off like you said. Really quick and easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, so, let me... Actually, let me go to the other side there so I can see the operation of it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice, huh? That was a quick and easy adjustment. Well, there you have it, the akimbo. So what it, my feelings on it is that I really like this uh, friction device. It's what I what I like about it is that it's um, really compact compared to some other ones, and that's a really cool feature. Um, I also the idea of being able to adjust this. I mean, you just open it up pretty easily. And it pops and now you're ready to adjust nothing's gonna fall out that's really a nice option um, you don't have to have extra tools or anything um, downside for me though I not too happy about the clip I understand the reason it's there it, it's a little bit of an annoyance though but um, if it goes with this device I mean that's what you got to get used to um, something that I didn't know was having that uh, carabiner that has a little latch and that's something that I got to work toward getting for me, because I'm a little heavier than most climbers, I didn't realize that there is a lot to do with the ropes that you're using with this uh, device. And I, some of the other devices are the same way. Now they have the, the ratings that you got on the scale. That's something that you guys should know about. The ropes that you already have. Maybe if you buy something like this, you might have to buy a new rope if you don't have one that's approved to use with this. Um, and then your weight. Think about your weight. I think the max weight that you can have with this is about 286 pounds.
So if you're a tall, lanky guy that's pretty heavy, <laughs> something like this might run on you, depending on um, what rope you're using. Um, I think those lighter guys, they probably use almost anything, <laughs> which, you know, is a great thing. Overall, is a real cool uh, friction device, and I'm, I'm glad we have it. And I want to see what's going to happen in the future, how, how many other lines I can try with it. I'll, I'll see what happens. Um, yeah, there you go. If you're going to do something uh, new, new techniques, try some new equipment, remember to do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. There's going to be a playlist below on mechanical hitches. I mean, you guys want to check it out. Like always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. By all means, share our videos with your friends. And we'll see you next time. Take care.